A Chattanooga neighborhood says it is dealing with problems after last week's rain. Good evening. I'm Kim Chapman. And I'm Joshua. It's not a fallen tree or down power lines. It's the effects of erosion as seen here on the left side of your screen. North Shore residents say the problem started with the building of new homes on steep lots, and they've been trying for years to get it fixed. Hannah Lawrence has been talking to residents and the company building the home. She is live now with what she has learned. Hello, Hannah. Josh and Kim, four property owners that I talked to today all believe that bad land development pra practices up the road here have led to erosion so serious that the runoff is causing all kinds of problems. One of those property owners is WTVC general manager Mike Costa. One of the issues that neighbors point to is right here, their road being washed by runoff. Neighbors say rainwater always comes rushing down this hill. It looks like a river, a river of mud. Tonight, Heather Degatano says signs of erosion are left behind everywhere on Knickerbocker Avenue. I do worry about the volume of the water and its quickness coming down the street. Collapsing bricks and a disappearing shoulder lead to this buckled bottom of the road at the end of the hill. Degatano says it's been a pattern since developers cleared this part of the steep hill three years ago and began building. What happens is the water comes very quickly off this hill now. There's nothing to absorb it. There's nothing to stop it. Just a couple feet down the road from the spot we already showed you, neighbors say last week's rushing waters carved out this track in the parking pad, and it goes farther than where I'm standing. I think we all really worry about it. We do. Jim Johnson loves living nearby in Chattanooga. I want to feel the same way for the next 20 years. That's why he started an advocacy group called Chattanoogans for Responsible Development. There's a, a, a broader cause for concern. He says what's going on here on Knickerbocker Avenue points to a need for review of city policies that deal with any building on steep slopes. Not just to say, no, you can't do this, but to be able to uh, say to developers, hey, this is how they did it in whatever other city have you thought of doing it this way i'm not opposed to thoughtful development i'm really not degatano says she and other neighbors have tried hard to work with green tech developers to fix the problems here it's been like having another part-time job over emails degatano showed us chris anderson with green tech told neighbors these pictures were taken during a major flood event across the city and anderson told the neighbors other builders are also responsible writing not all of that water comes from us Neighbors say they've called representatives from the city out here several times. Today we filed an open records request to see if Green Tech has been cited for what's going on here. We're still working to determine what department regulates storm water compliance in cases like these. Reporting live in Chattanooga, Hannah Lawrence, News Channel 9. Hannah, thank you. We got a statement from Green Tech late this afternoon. A spokesperson says the city told them the stormwater infrastructure in the area is inadequate. The statement says, quote, our site on Knickerbocker had previous stormwater issues, but the issues have been addressed and the site was found to be compliant last week. The group pushing for more regulations 